Hi Virgo, this is Eileen with your March 2018 Psychic Tarot Card Reading. And we're starting the month with the Eight of Swords card. And the Eight of Swords is talking about feeling restricted, by fear, possibly, that maybe some of some of you Virgos might be in, having some circumstances in your lives at this time where you feel like you're stuck in a situation and you don't know what to do about it or how to get out of it. I'm feeling this is relationship, um, uh, this is relating to relationship matters for some of you. Um, because I'm tuning in on a psychic level as well as reading the meanings of the cards. And I am getting relationship issues here that some of you might be involved in a relationship that has not been working out well, that you're not happy in, and you feel stuck. So for some of you, you might be with someone that you've been with for a good while and you don't know what to do about this situation because um, I'm, you know, I'm tuning in. Maybe this is just to one person I'm tuning into. It might be a few people that this relates to that uh, someone's been in a relationship with someone that uh, for a good while and it has lowered your self-esteem being in this relationship and so it's that much more difficult now for you to end the relationship to extricate yourself from it because on some level they have um, I don't know kind of caused you not to feel that good about yourself and your life and so you're not as confident as maybe you were before entering that relationship you're not as confident as you should be because I feel like overall you you're very capable you're very um, you have a lot going for you you have a lot of good things going for you in your life so you really should be feeling a lot more confident and strong and the advice of this card is to take back your power just to step away from the situation that you're in look at it objectively and and then make some decisions that are good for you and for your life. And for some people, this might relate to money matters and financial issues also that some of you Virgos might be feeling like you're having difficulties with money and material things and all that and not sure what you need to do to make improvements in your life. I do feel like that might relate to some of you, but I am getting relationship matters pretty strong for someone here for at least one or maybe more than one person. And then the next card that we have is the chariot card. Card. And the chariot, this is a major arcana card, so it's one of your destiny cards. And the chariot uh, is talking about taking, again, I think it ties in well with this, this eight of swords because it's saying that you have all the inner resources that you need to achieve your goals, to get where you want to go, to have the life you want, but you really have to stay focused, you have to take control and make choices that you might have some kind of choices to make in the month of March also relating to um, your life. I'm, I'm getting business matters for some people so I feel like some of you might have particular business matters whether it's got to do with a job, whether you're going to stay at one job or maybe go to another job that you have an opportunity to move over to. Or for some of you, I feel like some of you might be self-employed and uh, you might be weighing the different options that you have as far as which way to proceed in your business for making money, for getting where you would like to get to in your business. And so you might be pausing for a little while and kind of looking at the different options before making a decision. And I'm also tuning into someone on a more personal level, again, with regard to a relationship matter that, um, let me look at this. There's someone I'm tuning into who's feeling very open. It's like you've seen or you are become acquainted with someone. It could be in the workplace or in business somehow. Could be around your workplace. I'm not sure. I'm almost getting that kind of environment. And um, it feels like there's someone new that's come on the scene 
that's noticing you and you're noticing them. I feel like this is kind of a, I'm feeling like I'm tuning into a female Virgo and it's a male that's come in, in the picture here that you're noticing that you're interested in and you're, and he's also attracted to you, but I'm feeling you two haven't really had a chance to really get to know each other well yet, but it feels like there's a potential here for this to be a good match between the two of you. That's what it feels like. So I think, I think this is like a male and a female, you know, we all have a certain amount of male and female energy, but that's what it's feeling like to me. But altogether, the chariot card is talking about uh, that you have to have the focus and the self-discipline to get where you need to go as far as making plans for yourself and for your life. But overall, it's a good card. Good card. Okay. Next card we have is the Five of Swords. And uh, the Five of Swords, this is talking about someone possibly being dishonest with you, um, someone being unfair, possibly cheating you. And now this, or even right out possibly stealing something. So it's kind of a cautionary card to be careful, be cautious. But I'm getting a lot of relationship issues with this card, where some of you might have somebody in your life who's being very dishonest. They're just not being sincere. They might be, I'm, I'm tuning into somebody that, um, this is at least for one person and maybe for a number of you, that there's someone around you who's been around you more in a romantic way and they can be very charming and just turn on the charm and act like they've got it all together and might might be a nice looking person and it feels like they're pretending that they're better off than they are in some some way i feel like there's some phoniness there there's insincerity and um, this person feels like you cannot trust them. You can't really believe much of what they say. I feel like you really need to use your intuition because um, if, you know, sometimes somebody can look real good on the surface, but you get this feeling that something's not right, you know, inside. And at those times, you need to listen to your intuition because I feel like this person will cause more trouble than what they're worth. And if anyone is already involved with somebody like this, I feel like you've already seen their bad side. You already know what they're up to and you're kind of disconnecting from them. I'm tuning into somebody who might be already be disconnecting from this kind of person because you, you've already seen what they're really about and you know um, this person's not for your best good. So overall, and then be careful uh, more in business matters too. If anyone's signing anything or purchasing anything, um, look out for yourself. Look, up, look over all the details, fine print, whatever. This could also relate to someone like a salesperson who could be selling you something. Okay, so if you're buying a car, buying a house, buying some items of whatever, that um, don't just listen to the good things they tell you about whatever it is you're purchasing. Uh, do your own research and listen to your feelings and uh, read carefully anything before you um, sign it uh, because you might have someone that's being dishonest who just wants to make a commission and that's all they care about. They want to get their money and run. So I feel like this card has different meanings for a, um, a number of different um, individuals that would see this video. Okay, the next card we have is the Page of Cups, and the cups relate to the water signs, such as Pisces and Scorpio and Cancer, and uh, cups um, also relate to um, oh emotions and feelings and love, and the Page of Cups relates to good news, usually of a more emotional nature or maybe love in love in the area of love. Possibly someone might be getting good news in the way of um, getting a marriage proposal in March. And then for others of you, you might be getting good news that you're pregnant or, or something like that, or hearing of a birth or a birth announcement or pregnancy, maybe by a, a close friend or relative and you're happy. Whatever it is, it's, it's good news. It does represent good news in different um, forms for different people, but usually it's more of um, an emotional 
matter, you know, love and marriage, birth, engagement, things like that. But also this can relate to a young person who has a sensitive nature there because they might be a water sign like Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And so they're, they could be very creative and sensitive and um, just, you know, sometimes maybe being a little too sensitive and get their feelings hurt easily. And I am tuning in, this might just be for one person I'm tuning in here, that this Page of Cups represents someone coming into your life that you're around right now who's going to be interested in you, Virgo. Okay, I feel like, and since pages are usually young people, maybe in their 20s or maybe early 30s or maybe even teens or something, um, I'm feeling someone in their 20s probably. So for one or some of you Virgos who are interested in meeting someone new, I'm feeling like you're going to have this young person around you and, you know, they're close to your age. I don't feel like there's a big age difference. So that means if this, if this page of cups is um, in their 20s, then you're in your 20s because I feel like it's someone that's going to be close in age to you who's interested in you and this person's around you. They might just be coming around you in some way in March. It, it could even be for some of you who might be students at school. It might be another student that starts to circulate around you and who's interested in getting to know you better. I just feel like this person, I feel like you come across out in public like you're a little more outgoing or outspoken and this page of cups comes across a little more, a little bit quieter. You know, that they're talkative and all, but I feel like they come across in public or in front of you at first being a little a little bit quieter and I do feel like they're interested in getting to know you better and they're admiring you and your personality and your looks and all that and I feel like this is a nice person okay I feel like this is someone who will be very nice and um, just a good quality person I get a lot of honesty and sincerity there it's a really a nice person so so for those of you who want to meet someone especially if you're in that age bracket be open be receptive because someone might be circulating around you and kind of making their way to try to work up a conversation with you or that type of thing that's what I'm, I'm getting for someone here and then the next card we have is the high priestess and this is another major arcana destiny card and the high priestess this is a really good card representing spirituality the desire for knowledge intuition it also relates to your intuition being stronger in the month of march virgo which is good because it's also talking about there may be something under the surface that you don't know about that's not seen right now, but it could result in some kind of positive good news for you that comes forward in March. But um, but you do need to use your intuition. It will be stronger in March is what this card is uh, saying. And um, But there's something good under the surface that could be brewing for many of you also. And also in the relationship area, I do feel that, um, I feel like I'm tuning into someone. This could, again, it could be one person or more. There's someone new coming into your life that's really going to be, uh, represent a, a nice love interest, very romantic and fun and enjoyable that some of you might be meeting someone really special in March that you're just going to adore and they're going to adore you. That's what I'm feeling like for some of you. So even though that's not the meaning of the High Priestess card, I'm just tuning in more on a psychic level that th this might be a few people I'm looking at or it might relate to one. I feel like it's more than one person. I feel like it's uh, maybe a few people that might be just um, meeting someone that you're very attracted to and they're very attracted to you and it just feels like it just starts up like out of nowhere almost um, 
uh, and it's so natural. It's it's like some, I believe in reincarnation. I feel like some of you are going to be meeting somebody from your previous life that you had a really happy relationship with, a love relationship, and you're going to be crossing paths with them again in March. So and meeting again, it's like it's meant to be. And once again, this is a um, it's a destiny card. And even though the high priestess doesn't mean that, and what I'm feeling is that this was meant to be for those of you that meet that special person in March. But it's going to feel light and airy and happy. It's it's um, And it's just natural. It just, I don't know, just comes out of the blue. And it's like it clicks. And it's just supposed to be that way. It doesn't feel like one person's pushing or um, the other one or anything. It feels very light. Like neither of you are hanging on tight to the other. You just meet and you're attracted to one another and you start getting acquainted. And it really, it just, it's like magic. It just turns into love and romance. And so some of you, I don't know if that's, I feel like it's more than one person. At least a few of you are going to get lucky in March and meet someone that will is very special to you that you've been with in a previous lifetime that you're going to have happiness with now. Okay, next card we have is three of wands. And the three of wands. Now the wands relate usually to work and action because the wands um, are, um, those are the fire signs of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and those usually, uh, relate to action, work, you know, just all this activity and everything, pushing forward. And the three of wands is saying that you've been making progress already in your life. For a lot of you, it's in your career, in your work, in the way that you make money. Um, for others of you, it's some other project that you've been building upon. That's what I'm feeling like. Like for some of you, there's some kind of a project. Somebody might even be building a home right now or something, but there's some kind of projects you've been building on and working on and you're making progress. I'm feeling even academically, like some of you have been kind of laying the building blocks and everything academically for something that's really meaningful for you and you're making progress. And for others, it's relating to your work and for some some of you, uh, you're self-employed and you've been making progress. It's like slow and steady progress and you feel comfortable, kind of like you're in your routine, you know what you're doing, you're moving along, um, you're not where you want to be yet, but you know you're going to keep going and keep working and keep moving towards your goals. And it's just saying with the three of wands, stay focused, stay focused on your goals, stay on your path. Keep moving forward to ensure your success, that you're already having some success and it's going to continue. You just need to keep moving forward. And I'm feeling a lot of you are in that mode, like that's where you're at. You're just going to keep moving forward, even if you're not jumping up and down like, oh, everything's wonderful and, and the money's pouring in. You know, you know you're making progress and um, you're laying a firm foundation for yourself and Virgo being an earth signs, the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they're very materially oriented. They believe in work and laying a firm foundation. They don't want to be jumping around and um, changing this and changing that left and right. They're more, they're very solid. They got their feet on the ground and they like to lay a, a solid foundation for themselves. And uh, so they know they have something of quality as time goes by, even if they uh, don't have everything they want. Uh, really fast. They know they're, they're, what they're going to have is going to be built on solid ground. They're not building their lives on shifting sand or anything. Anyway, so it's a good card. Good card about progress. Just stay on track, stay focused, and your, your continued um, success is forthcoming. And then the next card we have is the Queen of Swords. And um, now the swords relate to the air signs of Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So for some of you, the queen of swords now is someone who can, um, is very sharp, a very sharp minded person. She might even be in a position of authority. This can represent someone. And for some of you, it could represent someone in your workplace that you work that might be above you at work, like maybe a supervisor, manager, maybe the owner of a company you work for or something like that. Now she can also, she's very hardworking. 
uh, very, um, she's very solid herself in the way she works and builds upon her success. But she can be very impatient with other people. She can be, um, you know, tough. She can be a tough cookie and be kind of harsh in her words. Or in, because I feel like she's capable of being um, judgmental or critical of others because it's like she knows she works really hard and for whatever she has. And so sometimes she is a little bit judgmental of other people if she feels they're not working as hard as her or that type of thing. So some of you, for some of you Virgos, you might be around someone like this in a workplace or maybe even have a relative who's like that. I'm not getting that she's giving any of you a bad time necessarily. It's kind of like you know this person is like that because I'm not feeling like she's looking at you unfavorably. Okay, I'm just saying these are some of her traits. So for some of you who are in a workplace environment with someone like this, I'm feeling like she's looking at you favorably. That's what I'm getting for someone I'm looking at. And somebody might even have a relative that's like that. And they're wanting you to change in some way. So I feel like I'm tuning in. That might be just to one person I'm tuning into who's got a relative who's of that kind of a um, temperament. And they're feeling like you're not doing all the things you should do. You know, it, I mean, it, um, it could be someone's mother or someone's, um, I don't know, older sister or whatever. And then for others of you, Virgo, you might just be embracing the traits of the Queen of Swords during the month of March because you're working hard to get things done. Maybe you're working at your job, then you're doing a lot of work at home and you're not feeling, you know, it's not like you're angry, but you're feeling like other people around you are not holding up their end of things, like maybe other people are taking shortcuts or they're relaxing when there's work to do. And you're, so you're not very pleased at what you see. And so I'm not saying you're going to be getting mad at people and telling people off, but it's almost like you're taking pride in all that you do and the hard work you do and whatever you've accomplished and whatever you're working on. And you expect others, you think others should do the same, but you know, a lot of times you see other people who don't take the same pride in their work or whatever. And uh, so some of you Virgos might be embracing these traits in the month of March. And I do feel like there's someone I'm tuning into who wants to meet someone like this. I feel like this is a female and you have those traits of the Queen of Swords and you really, so it could be that maybe someone of you Virgo have the um, uh, sword energy in you, which is an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You might have a lot of that in your chart. So you identify with this, with these traits and that you have been working hard to get where you're going in your life and moving up in your career and whatever and doing fine for yourself. Financially, you're fine. You don't need someone for that purpose, but you really want to meet someone who's like yourself, who takes a lot of pride in their work, who's um, intelligent like you. You want to meet someone similar to you to have a good life with, but you're not, you know, you're not feeling anxious or shaking all the bushes, but you would like to meet someone. And I feel like there is someone coming your way. That's what I feel like. So that might just be one person I'm, I'm tuning into there. Okay. Next card we have is the hanging man another major arcana card. And with the hanging man, this is talking about for some of you Virgos, you might feel like things are up in the air in your life in March. You might, there might be a particular project you're working on and it seems to kind of be um, not moving along too quickly right now. For some of you, I feel like you might be, um, weighing options between two jobs. Like, do you want to stay at your current job or do you want to accept an offer at this other company? Or for some of you, I feel like you might even be thinking about if you've got a job that you're at that you're somewhat comfortable with, but then you know there's an opportunity if you relocate to go to another job. Kind of like, well, do I want to do that? Um, uh, I just tuned into someone who's thinking that way, but thinking they're going to keep their job. But otherwise, I feel like for different people, there's you're going to feel like some things in March 
or up in the air. For some of you, it might have to do with relationship matters also. Um, let's see what I'm getting here. Well, this might just be one person I'm tuning into who's in between two people in a relationship situation and you're not knowing what to do. It's kind of like you like this person, but you like that one also. And I don't feel like either of the relationships are real serious. I mean, I don't feel like you're really in love with either of these people, but you're trying to figure out which one do I want. I, I'm not sure. I feel like one of them you've been involved with longer. There's one person you've been seeing for a while now, maybe several months, maybe, maybe a little longer. I'm not sure. And there's somebody new you've just met. And now you're really interested in the new person. But at the same time, you know you've got feelings for the other per person. And there's compatibil compatibility there. And you're trying to make up your mind what's going to be right for you. So you're kind of at a crossroads right now don't know what to do. So, so for different Virgos, you might find yourself in some kind of little dilemma in March where you're kind of feeling like, well, some things are up in the air right now in my life, whether it's a work-related um, issue or a relationship matter. And I don't think that relates to everybody. I mean, um, this this is a general reading. So, and I'm passing along messages and information I'm getting on a psychic level too. So for some of you, you might not even have that kind of situation in March. I do feel like it's specific more to individuals, certain individuals who see the video. That's what I feel like. Um, Okay, next card we have is the Empress. And once again, you have a really nice Major Arcana Destiny card in the Empress. And the Empress is talking about um, fertility, growth, prosperity. Oh, and you know, we were talking about Page of Cups. You know, the fact we've got the Page of Cups, which represent, represents good news, possibly even regarding a... Um, um, a pregnancy or a birth or something and the empress represents fertility so I think that even more suggests that some of you might be finding out that you're pregnant in the month of March and, uh, so, and so there's going to be some happy exciting news for some of you in March in this area and then also I'm feeling things about marriage and um, this is a good card. The Empress card is really a good card. It's kind of like a combining the spiritual with the earthly matters and um, uh, bringing things to fruition, that things you've been working towards in your life. It's productivity. It's kind of like you plant the seed and it grows. Uh, productivity in your life, seeing that the work the foundation you've laid, the work you've been doing is paying off. So for a lot of you Virgos, I feel like by the end of March, you might be feeling like some things you've been working on and work goals you've been setting for yourself, that you're really going to be having some good feelings about the outcomes that they're unfolding in a really positive manner for you by the end of March because it does talk about things, um, you know, your rewards for the work you've done. And it's also relating to happiness and love and marriage or in your family and your home life. It's, um, it's relating to adding, you know, balancing your life, your work and um, all whatever work you're doing and um, goals you're setting with your home life, your family, your personal interest, um, personal whatever you're passionate about and passionate about in your personal lives. And um, it's kind of like balancing and, and having it all. That's what I feel like for a number of you. You're going to be feeling good about your lives. Like you really are um, balancing things, the different areas of your life, and, and just feeling good, having a lot of good. I get a lot of good spiritual feelings here, and just feeling uh, like you got your feet on the ground, and you're in a good place, and feeling secure in your lives, feeling secure in your homes, feeling happy with your home, and happy in your home. I feel like some of you might be doing some things around your home environment, both inside and outside, that's making you feel happier and making you feel more comfortable and secure. So you might be making some improvements or just uh, moving things around or just doing a little redecorating 
and that's just making you feel good. Maybe some of you are having some, um, you know, some things you're gardening and, and planting and uh, bringing beauty into your home that way. And you're going to be enjoying those things and enjoying your life a little better in March. And what better time? Springtime, the spring season. Hopefully a lot of people are getting warmer weather by the end of March, too. Okay. And then the next card we have and I'm uh, for, uh, in particular I do tune into one person that feels like um, it feels like you're married possibly and it just I'm just tuning in you have a really good life you know and you know it that's what I'm that might just be one person in particular or more than one that is currently I feel like married you might be living with your loved one your partner and just feeling really happy and good in your life I don't know you may not have any kids yet but you might be among the people who's pregnant or getting pregnant and that sort of thing. I'm, I'm just, or that you're looking forward to getting pregnant, that type of thing. I'm feeling some of you are really going to be enjoying your um, relationships and your home life in March. The next last card we have, oh, I hear our Siberian Husky in there crying. Um, the last card we have is the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles, now this, again, the Pentacles relate to money matters, and um, and, and, and it is relating to Earth signs. So this is um, what you are, Virgo, an Earth sign, along with Taurus and Capricorn. And it's saying that some of you or a number of you might be feeling extra cautious with your money. Oh, Rocco, he's in there carrying on. Um some of you might be feeling extra cautious with your money in the month of March because you've been working hard to get whatever you have, to acquire what you have, and you don't want to be squandering your money or throwing it away in, in one way or another. You want to save your money and hold on to what you have and don't want to take any chances. But it, the Four of Pentacles is saying that maybe you're being a little bit overly cautious and overly protective of what Whatever you have. So I think the advice is basically you can relax a little bit, maybe treat yourself here and there. If there's something in particular you've been wanting to buy for yourself, it's probably okay if it's not some big um, gigantic um, expense, you know, to go and buy something that you might make your life happier, that you know you might enjoy, or go treat yourself to a nice meal out at a restaurant or something. Um, it's just saying loosen up a little bit. Don't be fearful of, of losing money. Don't be overly fearful or overly cautious. It's just seeing, saying to try to maintain a little balance in that area. That's all. Okay, so so that's good. So you've got a good um, progression going on there for the month of March. And then what I want to do also is pull one card from the uh, Fairy Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue. So let me shuffle those. Oh, and this deck I've been using is called the Gilded Tarot by Shiro Marchetti. Okay. And if you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified when I post new videos. And if you have subscribed already, I thank you for your subscriptions. And um, feel free to um, leave any comments. And also, if anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. And also, uh, be sure and check your rising and moon signs because you might find something that resonates in those readings if you don't find much that resonates with you in, in this particular reading here. Okay, so I need one card for Virgo for March of 2018. What's the message for Virgo for March 2018 for Virgo? What's the message for Virgo? for March 2018. One card for Virgo. March 2018. What's the message for Virgo? Okay, one more shuffle. Okay, so what's the message for Virgo from March 2018? Okay, fan these out. Oh, I think it's this one here. This one's looking at me. Okay, this says Ace of Autumn. 
a windfall of money, advice, or assistance from others, a very successful project, a happy change in your career. I love this card. Somebody else just got this card the other day when I was doing a video. I love it. A windfall of money, advice, or assistance from others, a very successful project, a happy change in your career. Great message. I love it. I think it ties in good, too, with the reading. Okay, next I'm going to pull one card from Nature's Whispers by Angela Hartfield with artwork by Josephine Wall. And I love these cards. They're just rich in detail. Okay, let's see. So what's the message for Virgo from March of 2018? For Virgo from March of 2018, what's the message? I need one card for Virgo. March 2018. For Virgo, what's the message for Virgo from March 2018? March 2018, what's the message for Virgo? New decks are kind of hard to shuffle okay let me think one more shuffle here we go okay all right we need one card for virgo no wait a minute i want to shuffle them one more time because they were kind of sticking together okay what's the message for march 2018 for virgo okay fan these out okay this one i think it's this card here I can get my hands on it okay this says renewal of peace. Looks like number 13. If you want to if I try to put that up close so you can see the detail. Look, there's some little animals as a baby. You can see all these little creatures in the forest. So much intricate detail in these cards. Oh, there's another creature, like a little fox or something. These are gorgeous. Number 13, renewal of peace. So let me look that one up. Sounds good. Renewal of peace. Okay, let's see. I need number 13. Here it is. Renewal of peace. It is important to maintain peace with all aspects of your life, mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. Inner imbalances can often manifest in your daily life if you don't make time to take care of yourself. It doesn't matter whether or not your imbalance is a negative one. Being optimistic to the point of believing in yourself to be invincible can also lead to challenges. Balance is best. Achieve through listening to your body. Take time for yourself. Allow your inner power to heal and return to being peace-filled. This will assist you and make you stronger. Well, this sounds like really good advice. I can even relate to that. That does sound like very good advice. <laughs> okay, the next one, last but not least, I'm going to pull one card from Me Messages from Your Angels by Doreen Virtue. So I need one card for Virgo from March of 2018. What's the message for Virgo from March 2018 for Virgo? What's the message for Virgo for March 2018? Okay, one more shuffle. Virgo, what's the message for Virgo for March 2018? Okay, let me fan these out. Wait, I think it's this one right here. Okay, this says Xana. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. That's a good message. I like that. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. That's a great message. Okay. All right, Virgo. Terrific. Well, thank you for watching my video, and be sure and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. If you have done so, I thank you for your subscriptions, and feel free to leave a um, comment. I welcome your comments, 
And if anyone would like a private reading, my rates and contact info are listed below. So have a great March. The rest of it, I know it's late getting this to you, but um, enjoy the rest of your month and look for the April reading coming up, hopefully before April arrives. And uh, have a great March, and thank you for watching my video, Virgo. We'll do this again soon.